What's up everybody, Justice Good here and today I'm going to go over clipping masks in Photoshop. That's the tool that you can use to put images inside of your layers. That means you can put one layer inside the boundaries of another layer. So for example you can put an image inside the boundaries of that text. This can be used with text layers or any other layer that you have any kind of work on. First I'm going to show you how to put an image inside of your text. So open up the image that you want to use in Photoshop. Now with your image open, make sure you can see your document in the background and take this layer and drag it onto your workspace. Now the picture in my example was much bigger than the document that I'm working with, so it's going to be really huge when I put it on here. That's not a problem, just make sure that your picture is not too small to work with. Because we can always go to Apple T or Edit Scale or Free Transform hold shift to constrain proportions and just drag it down to a workable size. Now that you've got your picture where you want it and the size that you want, we want to create a clipping mask to put this layer inside of the text. To do that, go over to layer and you'll see create clipping mask. And you also see the shortcut is Option Command G for Max. You really should learn the shortcut. It's going to make working with Photoshop that much easier. But until you get the hang of it, that's where you can find it. So as you can see, this puts the image inside of our text. And I can move it around wherever I want, and it stays within the text. Generally, you want to use a thicker font so that you have more room for the layer to be seen not going to work as good for like a really super thin font that's real spread out. So you want to remember that the layer on top with the arrow pointing down is the layer that's being clipped onto the layer that it's pointing at, which is the mask. These layers, that's the only way that they're connected. If you want to move them, you still have to select both of them and move them at the same time. This tool is really useful because as you can see, I can do whatever I want to the layer on top. I can lower the opacity to wherever I want. I can change the blending mode to whatever I want and the, the text underneath is what's going to show through. So let's say I change it to red, you can see the red is showing through instead of the white. And the further I sh lower the opacity, the further the, the layer underneath shows through. Now you're not only limited to one layer per clipping mask. If you want to create a new layer, use the same shortcut option command G or layer clipping mask you can put as many things on top of each other within this text as you want so you can see I can draw inside of it and it still works now you see I create the clipping mask with the shortcut and they all point down into the mask of that text now within these layers you can put them on whatever blending mode you like. You can stack and adjust these layers however you want and add all kinds of filters and transformations to them and they're still going to stay within your mask. As I go to duplicate my original picture with command J, you'll notice that it breaks up the other two clipping masks. It kind of like ruins our stack. If you ever want to go back and fix that, just put the layers back in the order that you want them and go through to each one and use the shortcut option command G to create a clipping mask or go to each layer individually and go to layer create clipping mask and put them all back together. So after you fix any problems you can see that I've had my picture of my woman again over the brush stroke layer that I had under the text layer this whole time. Now you can create the clipping mask with layer create clipping mask or again use the shortcut and you see the effect. Note that any blending options you put on your layer like a stroke or an outer glow don't add to the clipping mask. They pretty much override the clipping mask. Anything you do in this blending options tab goes over the clipping mask even though technically it's under the layer. However, if you put them on any blending modes like overlay, it's going to act like you're putting it on overlay on the layer above it. 
Now the rest of this vid I'm just going to fast forward me playing around with clipping masks. This works for any brushing layers, any shape layers, any text layers, and pretty much any layer. You can put any layer on top of another layer and it works. Thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. Tell me what you think and check out my channel for more.